So we've got this old, crusty, second-hand terrarium, and we're going to make it look brand spanking new. So you can see on the glass, it's really hard watermarked, really lime scaly, can barely see through. That's no good. We don't want that. So we need to sort that out. We need to remove the little hydrometer temperature ga gauges that are on the stuck to the wall and then deal with the residue that's left on that we've got this heat mat that's a stick on one that we need to get off and as you can tell it's really stuck on there so there's a lot of residue left there as well and also parts of the actual heat mat itself are being left behind on the glass so there's a lot of cleaning there that we really need to do to make sure that we get this terrarium looking brand spanking new so it's taken like so much force to even get this off the glass. I can totally see how people would struggle with these because especially if you're thinking you're going to try and like keep the heat mat and then not break it. Especially if you buy like a stick on one, some sort of starter kit. To get it off you basically have to like wreck it and just assume that it's like for the bin. So it's trash now. Look, at, it's just crumpled up. It's useless. No one needs that. Once we've removed all the soil and rinsed it out, we're going to move on to sorting out this lime scale marks. So we're going to use the barkeeper's friend power cream. And what you do is apply it really liberally all over the glass. Now what this does is this cream basically like adheres and like absorbs the lime scale. And then when you wipe it away or wash it away, it takes it away with it. So we really want to scrub it into these lime scale marks get it in all that hard water, get it in every little nook and cranny in this terrarium, get it all over that glass, really rub it in, get it right in there. And you want to leave it to like sit for a little bit, but you really want to make sure that every little bit is covered and then leave it to sit for sort of five minutes just to like soak in. And then you want to wash it away. And what you'll find is some of those hard water marks and that lime scale will come away with the water. Now it won't be perfect, but what you can do is do a rinse and repeat and just constantly do it till loads comes off. So you can see some's come off, but it's not as good as completely clear, but it's not as bad as it was. So some improvement has been made. But what's really nice is it softens it up quite a lot. So that now that it's softened, we're going to take a razor blade to it and that will allow us to take off these hydrometer marks. But also we can like just let the blade glide across the glass and take off these long streaks of lime scale that have been on there for like quite some time. So you can see in this video, it's coming off and it's like you've got, I've got this clear patch here that it's just coming off really nicely. So it's not as clear from this end because there's some lime scale on the outside of the glass, but on the inside, it's definitely coming off. So I find downwards force helps quite a lot, but if you can't and you're in a sticky situation, you can go upwards as well, any direction really. But I like using a little Stanley blade rather than a big handled thing because when I want to get into a nook or a corner, they can manipulate this blade however which way I, I, I wish. But I couldn't do that with a big ass handle. Now if we look at this glass, now that we've rinsed it out and cleared it out, it's pristine because I've gone around and I've scraped off all the soft lime scale and now the only thing left on this is to really remove this. So what we're going to use is sticky stuff remover. And what that's going to do is help us really remove the stickier residue that's left on this glass. So again, pour it all over, really allow that to soak into the residue. We're going to wipe it around and make sure that we get a really good coverage. And then this one actually gives you, I think it said seven minutes, but just leave it 10 minutes or so. Let that really soak in. And then again, get out of that with a razor blade. What's really nice is that it's peeling off quite easily rather than like if I were to just go with the standing blade and not use this remover stuff, the sticky residue would like slide and it'd just be grease across the glass and it'd be really difficult to remove. Um, yeah, and yeah, you'd be able to get most of it off, but it would still be tacky and like greasy. This does it really well and it peels off really nicely. The next thing we're going to do is clean off this rust on this screen mesh for the other terrarium. So what we want to do is we want to place this within some white vinegar. And what the white vinegar is going to do is it's going to really soften up that rust on the mesh. So we're going to submerge this mesh in white vinegar and re allow that to soak. Now we left this in this container for I think three hours. So we basically went out and came back. Once those three hours are up and we've allowed that to soak, what we want to do is really get scrubbing. Now we've got an abrasive like steel pad here. What you want to do is go with like really light pressure 
And then when you're confident in the amount of pressure that you're applying and that it is coming off, you can increase pressure as you go. I've done this before and I've used this technique for years now and I have ripped some holes in some mesh because I've been that like aggressive with it. So go, go slow, go careful and just take your time. Now you might find that you're actually just only scrubbing the top of this mesh because you're like bringing a pad across the surface. So that's why you might want to get something like a little toothbrush just to get in between and give it a really good go. And what you end up with is a really clean mesh that is far clearer of rust than it ever was before and that's going to allow the UV and lots of light and proper airflow go through that and not be so clogged up and block a lot of that. So in the end what we end up with is a nice looking like new terrarium that was otherwise quite old and knackered. Hope you enjoyed. If you want more tutorials like this, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in another video.